What's up my peeps, time for a brand new episode of WB Mayhem and in this one we're gonna kick it off right away with a loot opening so let's go ahead and do that got like 16 loot cases four hour one daily one versus one event one two star one premium one and two smackdown ones and after i open up all these loot cases here i'm gonna go ahead and complete the raw event on normal or beginner either one works because i already did it on superstar and that'll give me enough keys to open up a raw loot case on top of all of this and while i'm doing this loot opening i'd like to go over some news that we got today in regards to mayhem and the event schedule so we finally have a set schedule at least when it comes to the class events so up until now it's been kind of random we don't really know the exact dates whenever a class event pops up okay so we get a one star key uh but now they announced it it's official on monday you get the brawler event on tuesday we get the wild card events on wednesday the technician event on thursday the powerhouse event on friday the high flyer saturday the showman and sunday is a free day and they also said that they're gonna go ahead and give us the schedule for the rest of the events the normal events once they finalize it so uh, looking forward to seeing when exactly, you know, on what day we get like the Unstoppable Giant or the Raw event or the Smackdown event. So just tap and we get some three star keys. Perfect. That's what I want from these event loot cases. I'm not looking for dumbbells. I'm strictly looking for keys. So if I get three star keys, that's great. If I get a duplicate superstar, which all the superstars in the event case are duplicates for me, that's good too. So uh, we get a brawler dumbbell. I'm telling you, I get this one in like every single loot opening. So now we got six more dumbbell cases. Let's put number six in and see what this one holds. Just tap and it lands on a tier three powerhouse dumbbell. I also feel like I've gotten a lot of these tier three powerhouse dumbbells, but I'm okay with them in case I get, you know, powerhouse in the future that I'm trying to rank up. So just tap and uh, we get tier two high flyer dumbbell. Okay, moving on. Now we got number four and number four, four, four. Let's go. Just tap and three star keys. Great. The more three star keys, the better. See, I'm looking for three star keys right now because I want more duplicates because more duplicates means I'm going to get closer. Yo, another set of three star keys. More duplicates, the better, because that's going to get me closer to four star and number two. So just tap, unfortunately. Oh, I thought I wasn't going to get some three star keys because I tapped on a three star key. But yo, that's perfect. We're getting a bunch of these. Can the last one also be some three star keys? That'd be great. Let's see. Three, two, one. And no, no three star key, two star powerhouse dumbbell but it's okay. So we're done with the dumbbell cases and now I want to get to the versus case and this is a case that I've been ignoring for a bit because I haven't been playing too much versus mode but I'm getting back into it and looking at it again I'm like you know what this is one of the most or you know one of the more underrated brief cases out there because there's opportunity for some keys in here two star keys and all these two stars I've already got so if I get any of these two stars I'm getting three star keys out of it because it's gonna go into overdrive and if I get a two star key well hey I'm getting closer to a two star which will lead me to a uh, three star key because all the two stars are duplicates for me except for Seamus and Sting and if I get Seamus and Sting I don't mind because I don't have them and I'm looking to get every single superstar so as you can see right here, I got 600 two-star keys. So when you get keys out of the Versus case, it's a good amount too. Um, so that's what I like actually about the Versus loot case. Let's put that two-star in there and uh, let's see. Could it be Sting and Sheamus or is it going to be a duplicate? Either one is fine. I am kind of hoping for Sheamus and Sting though. I don't know. We'll see, man. Let's see which one it lands on. Okay, so it is a duplicate. I've already got two-star Sammy. Sammy, one of the weaker superstars, but I'm not looking for strong superstars here. I'm just looking for more three-star keys or Sammy, or not Sammy, Sting or Sheamus because I don't have those at all. So we got 50 three-star keys. That's good. And now let's go ahead and put in the premium loot case first, and then we're going to go for the SmackDown Live case. Just tap, and we get two-star Kevin Owens. Another duplicate to more three-star keys. Although, I think, what was it, three-star Kevin Owens or four-star was right next to this one? So we got two more keys, or briefcases, and hey, we just got a three-star loot case because we got so many three-star keys out of the uh, loot opening that we're doing right now 
All right, let's put that three star in and um, let's go, man. Just tap and we get three star Biggie. Are you sure that is a duplicate, is it? I hope so. I know I've got Biggie. I'm just not positive that I've got three star. I think I do. So this should be, yeah, overdrive rewards. So we get 50 more four star keys. We're getting closer, guys, to opening up another four star loot case. I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited for that. Okay. So now I think I'm at 750 out of a thousand four star keys. Put in a SmackDown case number one and tap. And it lands on two star Randy. Okay. That's going to give us some three star keys. All right, moving on, come on, overdrive level four. So, as you can see, got a bunch of Randys. Let's put it in this last SmackDown loot case, and uh, let's see. I'm hoping for at least a three-star duplicate. So, just tap, we get Sami Zayn. Okay, that's a duplicate, so more four-star keys. That means we're at 800 four-star keys out of a thousand, meaning we only need four more duplicates, guys, and I can open up another four-star case. So check this out, man, 800 out of a thousand, four more three-star duplicates, and I'm there. I get this loot case. I still get a lot of questions, people asking how to get four-star superstars. I have a video just on that, and it'll be in the card section. So in the top right corner of this video, you can click on it, and you can check out that video. I explain how to get four-star keys. So let's go ahead and go into events and uh, let's complete this raw event. Maybe we get one more three star duplicate out of the raw case that I get out of this. So uh, this was the setup that I was rocking with and the purpose of this setup, you guys have seen it before. This is kind of my speed run setup where I'm just using Samoa Joe out of all these superstars and all these guys are in here to give more damage to Samoa Joe. So 15% more critical hit damage, 15% more damage, 15% more damage, 10% more critical hit damage. So they all stack up all these synergies together to make Samoa Joe even stronger, and that way I can get through the event even quicker. And you know what? This is going to be the team that I use for this one as well. This to me, right now, for the current situation that I'm in, the current superstars that I've got, this is the perfect team for damage. The perfect damage inflicting team. And whether Samoa Joe gets a class bonus or not, I pick Samoa Joe for every single one of these matches. Go. And check this out. Just like that, three strikes, I think it was, and it's over. Seth is out. Pinball bomb, and the match is done just like that. It does a ton of damage. Let's see how many strikes. One. Okay, well, he backed away, so that was, well, stop blocking. Okay, there we go. Done. And let's go ahead, put Enzo to sleep. We, we, you know, we took out Seth with the pinball bomb, switching it up a bit, Coquina Clutch. This is actually my preferred method to win the matches with Joe, the Coquina Clutch. I prefer it over the pinball bomb. Let's go. Okay, and he's done just like that. And this time around, let's go ahead and go for the Chimera Plex. Three suplexes in a row, and John Cena doesn't even... John Cena doesn't even get the opportunity to get into the match before it's over. So this one is actually taking a couple more strikes than the other ones. He, he's got more health, but uh, just like that, he's done too. So let's go for the Chimera Plex again. Could have went for the Super Pinball Bomb, but nah, we're going to go for this. All right, just like that, it's over. Big Cass is up next. Um, some of these recent opponents, they've been backing away right when the match starts. But, you know, that's not going to save them. It's, it's going to just delay the inevitable. At the end of the day, they still lose. They either get, you know, taken out with a pinball bomb or put to sleep. So, done. Check this one out. Finn and Bray. This is actually the tag team that I used to rock with a lot in versus mode. But now I've got a brand new tag team that I use in versus mode that's been giving me really good results and I haven't lost a match yet. I'm still at the max 1.6 multiplier since coming back to versus mode. So Finn versus Bray, let's go. And it's just gonna be Joe and Taker. And the reason why in the past I used to rock with Finn and Bray White as a tag team in versus mode is simply because they had a synergy together. So it would be basically a perfect synergy. Finn would get a synergy from Bray and Bray gets one from Finn. So let's keep on going in. There we go. It's over. Pinball bomb. But also, it's it's the same case with um, Matt and Jeff. Matt and Jeff also get a synergy. Matt gets one and Jeff gets one as long as you've got the two in the same team. Whether it's a tag team match or whether it's just in your team, in your five-man, four-man, or three-man team, depending on how many superstars uh, you're allowed to have, depending on your level. Oh, okay. First person to get, you know, signature move in. 
It's Ron Strowman. All right, that's winning. You know, he is the monster among men. So uh, here's the decision that we've got to make. 240 Sheamus, who's going to give us 82 cash, or Roman Reigns, 257, who's going to give us 76 cash. Why would I go with the stronger superstar who's going to give me less cash? Of course, I'm going to go with Sheamus. And now we're on to the champion, a two-star Kalisto. Yeah, he's going to get wrecked by Samoa Joe. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. There we go. He's done. You know what? We're going to start it off with a uh, strong attack or a special attack first. Not going to go for the pinball bomb or anything. And now let's reverse that. And uh, we're going to get the last move in. But he is going to get a shot at kicking out. Running senton. All right. We haven't seen that in a while in my videos. Okay, one, two, and let's see. Oh, just like that, it's over. That was quick, especially for a championship match. But hey, it was a four-star Samoa Joe against a two-star Kalisto. And uh, we get the title bonus, we get the cash, we get the raw loot case. So there we go, that's been completed. And uh, now let's get to the loot. Let's go ahead and open that up. We got two more event cases just tapped and we get, okay, we got a dumbbell out of that one. Let's go ahead and put in this event case or dumbbell case, let's go. And three star keys, that's great. Okay, 100 more. And uh, one more case, man. It's the raw case. Let's go. Put that in there. Okay. So I'm hoping for a four star, a three star duplicate. And if it's not a duplicate, I want it to be Seamus. Let's go. And it lands on three star oh, Big Cass. Um, Big Cass, one of the weaker superstars in the game, but he is a duplicate. I've already got three star Big Cass. So that only means more four star keys, which means that now I'm at. 850 where's it at there we go 850 out of a thousand just three more duplicates remaining and i get the four star briefcase and they've got an event going on right now the wwe mayhem event which will give you some three star keys so i will go ahead and complete that as well hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did click the like button down below and uh, don't forget if you guys are still wondering how to get four stars i've got a video just about that it's in the top right corner of this video. Just click on the card and it'll link you to the video. See ya.